Hello everyone, welcome to the Geoecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanan and you have been watching my videos on geography and several other related topics of environment and also research methodology. In this session on the models and theories of human geography, we are going to learn about one of the very interesting theory that is Malthusian population theory, which is most talked about population theory and also one of the pioneer theories related to human geography, which talks about demography, which talks about the study of population. It interlinkages with resources. That's why it becomes really important in today's world as well. And also it was one of the pioneer theories in 18th century end. And we need to understand what is the nature of this theory? What is the basic premise of this theory? Where it is applicable and what are its criticism in today's session. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also do share the videos with others as well. So now let's understand about this Thomas Robert Malthus, his concept of demography, his concept of essay on the principle of population. That was his book written in 1798. Now remember 1798, that is end of 18th century, was a time when industrialization was picking up very fast in Europe. So that was the time when Malthus, who was basically an English cleric, a scholar, a very influential economist, that is important to understand. He was not a geographer, but he was an economist who had his perspectives on population studies. That was important. So his book is important in that particular juncture, in that particular era, where nobody talked about this population rise or increasing population and what could happen to various aspects of demographics and what could be the possible future for population. That's where this pioneer theory was given. Although later on it was also criticized, but that we understand later. First, let's understand how this was conceptualized by Malthus. So Malthus observed that an increase in nation's food production. Now it's talking about food resource, food security at that particular time. So nation's food production improved the well-being of the population. But at the same time, the improvement was temporary. Why? Because if you improve the resources, if you improve the food production, according to Malthus, it led to fast population growth. And then gradually what will happen? Because of fast population growth, the restored original per capita production level will come to the country. So ultimately the development will stall if you have too much of population and food and population are to be linked together in terms of understanding of Malthus. So, in other words, human had a propensity or an attitude to utilize abundance for population growth rather than for maintaining a high standard of living and a view that become known as Malthusian trap or Malthusian spectre. That's very important to understand that we fall into this trap of facility of having good amount of food, food reserves, natural resources coming to our doorstep. So what happens? People become carefree and gradually it is a trap that is created, right? That is not good for future. So populations had a tendency to grow until the lower class suffered hardship, want and greater susceptibility to famine and disease. This is basically Malthusian view on catastrophe. That was important in that time and also his theory supported the capitalist system of economics and deterministic approaches in geography. Now when we say capitalist system, it's talking about more on emphasis on the industrial mode of production of resources and also the society which is class conscious. Then also about the second point that it is deterministic in nature. This theory is kind of functional theory. It says if this happens, X happens, Y is definitely going to happen. It means one factor is going to determine the other factor. That's why it is deterministic model or theory in human geography that we say. Now let's elaborate what is all about this Malthusian theory. So if you observe his book, an essay on the principle of population, right? It talks about the population growth, which is in inevitable. It cannot be done without. It will always be there. It will happen. So whenever conditions are improved. So what is there? If we improve the conditions, people are going to increase in numbers automatically, right? So that is going to be there. So what was his statement? The power of population is indefinitely greater than power of earth to produce subsistence for man. It means he emphasized on the power of population growth that could 
take charge right so he wrote few lines which are very much important premise or you can say the basic building block of his theory the increase of population is necessarily limited to the subsistence it means the need based increase of population if you cannot do your subsistence if you cannot maintain your subsistence then population will not grow right so population does invariably increase when when the means of subsistence is increasing means of subsistence is basic idea of what we always say as roti kapda and makan right isn't it the basic facility if you have the basic fa facility food facility living facility definitely the population population growth is going to be done in the situation that is being faced in most of the developed countries already that we say that was his basic premise that time so the superior power of population repressed by moral restraint vice and misery this was the third part which is discussed here the superior power of population represses the moral restraint right because we see that human beings are more powerful so they will grow in numbers they will not stop the growth right and gradually this would lead to misery in the society that was his basic connotation of this so malthus actually made one mistake that is often criticized that he did not see the greater impact of industrial revolution coming and the amount of technological changes that would also match up to the number of people growing so resource and population relationship would not be as he imagined in 18th century end right that's where he's also criticized so what you observe this is a particular graph of population on one axis and food supply on one axis this you see that at a particular point what you see population crosses this limit and grows upward very quick while you see there is a normal arithmetic increase in the food supply so there is a gap you see right so what will happen this will lead to the crisis so that's where the idea was in this graph which is basically a representation of malthus theory so malthus based his arguments on two basic characteristics of human beings to maintain life what are the two basic characteristics one is the need for food the subsistence part and the second is the passion between sexes right so male and female would always love to have a good life right and definitely they would love to procreate and have a future right that's where you understand the need for food and passion between sexes are inherent to human beings that was his basic idea so it was second which is the second one which led people to get married at relatively younger age early age and also would result in large number of population right that's important then malthus referred to the two classes of checks as well he said what to be done so he said there are two kinds of checks which keeps these balances the checks and balance so the first is called positive check the positive check he spoke about famine that is related to hunger remember in our sustainable development goal also the hunger index is the primary then disease or war which kills lots of people then pestilence and vicious customs about women that pestilence it means outbreak of disease right that could also lead to the checks and also the customs about women in various societies where they would be given a particular status that would also be important as a positive means according to malthus and the negative means is something which is important here he explicitly demanded artificial means of birth control in that time itself and suggested an alternative that the birth rate be decreased through preventive measures that's important right so we have various preventive measures in today's modern world but remember it this was 1798 there this kind of measures for population control policy was not available so this was kind of a preventive check that was being talked about in malthusian theory like late marriage so postponing marriage until the later age moral restraint chastity abstinence of producing more and more children so this was the line of thought of malthus in terms of preventive checks positive checks both of them if you can observe clearly here right then further if you observe and summarize malthus in theory you can just take this diagram draw it for yourself and simply understand this flow diagram you see here population increases in geometrical progression food increases in arithmetic progression now remember this population increases not just 1 2 3 4 rather it is 1 2 4 8 16 it multiplies in geometric progression while food is just addition in arithmetic way 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is the method so there is a you know the interlinkage is a problem in this situation so imbalance leads to 
ओवर पॉपुलेशन विच इज ट्रू फॉर टू डेज मेनी डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ऑल्सो इट कैन बी करेक्टेड बाई दीज प्रिवेंटिव चेक्स और दॉजिटिव चेक्स सो प्रिवेंटिव एज ही मैंशन इज दी लेट मैरिज चेस्टिटी मोरल रिस्ट्रेंट एंड पॉजिटिव इज दी मिजरी वॉर फेमीन फ्लड विच कीप हैपनिंग एंड रिमेंबर राइट नाउ इट्स पैंडमिक दैट इज पार्ट ऑफ दी पॉजिटिव चेक यू कैन से इज एंड इट सो मालथस आर्ग्यू दैट पॉजिटिव एंड प्रिवेंटिव चेक्स आर इनवर्सली रिलेटेड टू each other he said what if positive checks are very effective the preventive checks are relatively less effective in a given area at that particular point of time so he propounded this inverse relationship between the both the checks he said both the checks cannot happen together rather one increases the other will not be there other will decrease at the same time so however if you see in different societies some of these checks are in constant operation although in varying magnitude of effectiveness that is important to remember here that both these checks are still available in different society is across the world but in different magnitude in different levels of efficacy that's important and malthus also believed one particular thing that despite these checks the inability of increased food supply to keep a breast population increase always results in some kind of situation of over population because human beings are developing beings they would always love to create this situation which is favorable for themselves and that would inevitably lead to the population growth definitely in different societies that was his basic understanding so if you want to learn about the criticisms now of malthus one important point is there that malthus theory was not applicable in its home itself for a long time period what is that malthus who was a british scholar and also learned about europe and collected data about it and talked about it he said theory that was not applicable in europe itself at the same time so in western europe the population was rising at a rapid pace and at the same time food supply also increased so there was no gap due to the technological advancement so malthus theory failed to apply there so many times food production had increased more than population at many places for example in us if you see right then malthus theory stated that one of the reasons for limited food supply is non availability of land but remember due to technological advancement and globalization it's not about where you stay your food can come from any place where there is land availability this he did not imagine that time that's where you have criticism for him also the calculations for geometric growth of population as well as arithmetic growth of population was not provided by malthus he did not give any calculations it was just empirical observation that he made in his theory so it was stated that growth rates are not consistent with malthus theory that was his major criticism as well then also next point is that he was a pessimist he was not an optimist why because he dreaded in terms of population increase if population increase over population will happen societies will collapse he thought in that particular way so according to a great demographer canon a baby comes to the world not only with mouth and a stomach but also with a pair of hands that was the criticism being cited that if population growth happens new people are born they are not just born as just passive beings but they'll also work out they'll also create new things isn't it that's where he failed as a concept of demographic transition understanding right then if you understand the application of malthusian theory of population malthusian theory may not be applicable in various parts of western europe and england but remember it's definitely applicable in developing and what we say as the third world countries right the whole of asia africa south america still comes under the purview because you have a drastic difference between the resources and the population the food security is of concern in all the third world nation so malthus theory is still applicable and that's why it's of concern and that everybody should understand this malthusian theory of population and also presently if you see positive checks like floods war drought disease like pandemic outbreak everything is happening in the world so it's applicable definitely isn't it because birth and death rate are going high in many parts of the world so malthusian theory is fully applicable to underdeveloped countries like india that is the core application you can observe here right so not fully applicable in the developed nations but majorly applicable in the under developed nations so now when we have learned in details the malthusian theory of population the concepts its criticism its application in the sessions to come we'll be learning more on different models and theories in human geography so stay tuned stay safe and keep watching